terrific guys awesome for tuning in i'm very happy to see you here today we're going to look at another set of two-way radios from the company Fluorion. maybe not that well known uh, as maybe some other bigger brands but nonetheless uh, i tested them once before another product and i actually did like the radios a lot i think they did a nice design job on their package we have the Fluorion a5 two-way radios and uh, yeah, obviously what I saw on the package on the side, it said TYT. So my guesstimate is maybe Floreon or I'm not sure whether they belong to TYT. Maybe it's a uh, original uh, equipment manufacturing kind of thing. I think that's the correct business administration terms where one company can go to the other company and say, please produce 5,000 radios for me under this brand name with those specifications. And then the company says, yes, we produce that for you. And they stick the other company's label on that. Uh, in fact, that is kind of a funny story. I know that from air purifiers. I mean, Philips is a pretty big brand, but a certain type of air purifier, uh, you can buy that in Europe under the Philips brand. But in, in reality, it's made somewhere in South Korea by a totally different company. But the consumer would never know. So that's kind of what reminded me this of. Obviously, it's just speculation at this point. And I probably digress a little bit here. So uh, viewers always know that, that watch my channel. This is the introductory part. In part two, I'm gonna do an unboxing, show you what's inside the package. That's usually interesting to see. Some radios, they have uh, batteries, uh, docking stations, others they don't. So that's why I like to always show what's inside the box with all the details. And obviously you can always use the navigation and jump, for example, to part three, the range test. This is probably what most people are interested in. But a uh, quick disclaimer, those radios are the European radios, the PMR446. So if you're, let's say, in the United States, please make sure to get the correct ones, the FRS. You will also benefit from a higher output power. So in my range test, uh, if you, let's say, in the States and you have the FRS version, that should have a higher output power. And therefore, you should get a significantly higher range than what I'm testing right here in Europe. Uh, that's the quick uh, notification that I'm going to give you here. So, but with that aside, let's just get rolling with the unboxing. I'm excited you're here and then let's see how they sound and what kind of range I get on my usual, on my usual route. So excellent for tuning in, let's get rolling. Terrific, now we're gonna have a closer look at the Floreon A5 two-way radios. I'm very excited to have a peek inside the box right here manual different languages like i told you i'm in europe so we have german france uh, spanish italian uh, two headsets for the occasional user i think that's good maybe commercially you would maybe pick uh, something that's a little bit better but for the for what it's worth for the price point i think it's good value radios uh, for the money and you see that's about it what's in the box Put this to the side here real quick and uh, please note that a lot of radio manufacturers they give you a usb charging cradle so you want to make sure you have some sort of usb power adapter where you can plug this in with regard to the radios it's a very classic uh, proven design um, very minimalistic just push the talk button volume control and the channel selector i find that very useful Sometimes in Europe, I think uh, some of the Motorola radios, when you buy them, although they support 16 channels, they only have eight channels enabled, and then you have to go into the menu and unlock it. Uh, for the United States, it might be different, different. But uh, here, let me quickly uh, take off the battery here. Very easy to do. Remove that foil that protects the contacts. The battery itself is rated with 1,300 milliamp hours. So I'm just quickly gonna slide this right in, turn the radio on for you guys. One. And the speaker <laughs> pack, packs quite the punch, so that's nice. And uh, the channel selector. So I per usually prefer these kind of minimalistic radios where you can just turn the dial and select your settings that way. And if you have to really make a change, often the radios also support uh, USB programming cable. Although let's say you were in Europe, I think theoretically with the programming cable, you should be able to raise the output power, but obviously that's not legal. You should always observe the regulations in your country. And also, yeah, you don't want to mess up any settings if you connect the programming cable. And you need the correct software, usually from the manufacturer's website. So I have, I think I read reports, some people use the Chirp software to program radios. And then sometimes they run into trouble because obviously if you use a third-party software to program radios, 
then uh, if the software writes some wrong information on there, all of a sudden your radio talks in Chinese or God knows what. So please be careful if you plan to program those. But uh, guys, I digress. And as usual, my uh, charging bench right here, obviously this uh, additional charger is not included. So you wanna make sure you have something where you can uh, plug those uh, radio uh, USB chargers in. Uh, I have this from another product review that I did earlier. Uh, I'm not sure whether Florian has the same. I can ask the company and then maybe put the link for Florian one below. Right now, let's quickly turn on the power and you see indicator light comes on and as long as it's charging, it should be red. And then you can just put the radio in and it's also charging up. Uh, sometimes I think you also have these big charging docks where you can put in, yes, I don't know, five radios or maybe even more. So maybe if you're on a construction site, you want to maybe look for a set where you have like lots of these radios in a big charging uh, cradle. I haven't reviewed that yet, but maybe I can get hold of it as well. It would be kind of interesting to see. But uh, this charger, for example, should be good for five radios. So make sure to have a charger or some way to charge it because only the USB dock is included. But usually this type of model gives me a pretty good range. So I'm really curious to see. I mean, I think once there was a radio that had the long antenna and then inside was a smaller one. The range was not as good, but I think Florian should be pretty okay. So let's jump to part three and do the range test. I have to let them charge up maybe and do the range test today or tomorrow. Let's jump to part three. Hey guys, range test, range test of these uh, Florian two-way radios. Test point number one, test point number one, usually no problem with 420 feet. Uh, keep in mind those are PMR446 radios with 0.5 watts in the US. You have more output power and therefore you should have a higher range. Test point number one, 420 feet. Hey guys, range test, range test at test point number two of these black three on radios with about 790 feet, 790 feet. Should be still a very good audio quality. So let's see how far I can get today. Usually I only have 30 minutes, then the camera shuts off. Test point number two, 790 feet. And guys, range test, the range test of the Florian radios. Test point number three with 1,250 feet, 1,250 feet. I'm kind of curious how these radios sound. Again, great weather today outside to do the range test for you guys. 1,200 feet at test point number three. Range test point, uh, next range test point, half reach next range test point. Uh, test point number four with 1,540 feet, 1,540 feet. And usually this type of radio performs pretty good at this type of distance. Test point number four, 1,540 feet. And I've reached the next range test point, next range test point. People enjoying the weather outside, playing some soccer, having a great time, and I'm doing the range test. What could be better? Test point number five of about uh, approximately 2,000 feet. Test point number five, approximately 2,000 feet. And uh, yeah, I mean, this, those are the Florian PMR radios. And uh, let's see how far I can get. Test point number five. And I reached the next range test point, guys, of these uh, PMR radios. Usually the weaker ones, and sometimes the performance deteriorates here. But I guess the Florian will have no problem. Test point number six, 2,300 feet. Test point number six, 2,300 feet. Let's see how that sounds. And the next half, uh, I skipped one range test point uh, because I'm always walking by the embassy, so I didn't want to bother the police today. So we skipped test point number seven and we jumped uh, straight to test point number eight with 3,200 feet. 3,200 feet or 0 0.6 miles approximately. And yeah, for PMR radios, if you can still hear me, that's not too bad. That's point number eight. I have reached the next test point, the next test point. It is a really terrific weather today and quite the breeze, almost like at the beach. <laughs> test point number nine, 3,900 feet or 0 0.75 miles. So I guess that's a good wind test for the microphone as well. Test point number nine, three quarters of a mile. Range test, range test, guys. Uh, I have reached the last range test point. Test point number 10, test point number 10 with uh, 4,900 feet approximately or almost a mile, almost a mile. 
my ca my camera should should shut off any minute. Only run for uh, 30 minutes and then it shuts off. So test point number 10, almost a mile of the European PMR radios. If you have the US version, the FRS, you should get a significantly higher range. So this concludes the range test. Test point number 10. Very, very good, guys. I am happy with these radios. As you have seen, we jumped to par four right now. The range test is concluded and uh, over the entire distance that I usually like to walk, the radios perform very, very well. A uh, quick disclaimer, if you're in the United States, please look in the video description because I tested the European PMR version, but usually the radios for the US, they have four times the output power, which is definitely something you can take advantage of if you're uh, in a country that uses this FRS, the so-called family radio service. So my personal conclusion, the Florian A5 tuber radios, get a thumbs up, nice packaging, solid build quality, and you get the USB charging cradles. So I can imagine for camping or going on a hike or just playing for in and around the house, these radios should be great. I invite you to head over to my channel page. Let me show this to you here. And there's a dedicated playlist where I tested a variety of two-way radios. Uh, waterproof ones, just normal ones like this, uh, a bunch of different manufacturers and a lot of my viewers like to compare there so that they get uh, orientation of what the radios include. Uh, does a charging station included, uh, how is maybe the difference on my usual test route and a disclaimer is also if you're using these radios somewhere in a very urban environment where there's a lot of maybe concrete structures Obviously that will suck up the output signal more. So you get a, tend to get a shorter range in urban areas. As opposed, you are in the countryside with open pastures, you can expect a bigger range. So take my range test with a grain of salt. But for what it's worth, I'm very happy with these radios. They perform very favorably against a lot of these other radios that I tested. So I see you as a subscriber if you like and in one of my next videos. Uh, have fun with your new gear. All the best to you, take care. And because you just watched the review of the Floreon A5 PMR radios, you might also int be interested in comparing them, for example, against some waterproof models. And I also have on my channel page reviewed several waterproof two-ray radios, which my viewers also like to compare. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe right now, as many people have already done. And I see you in the next video. All the best to you. Have fun with your new gear. Take care.